Sustainable Groundwater Management or Sugam project was initiated in the year 2011 in two districts of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh states. The project is implemented by Center for World Solidarity or CWS, a voluntary organization based at Hyderabad with three local partner NGOs, namely Jana Jagruti, Crops and RIDS. Sugam project operates in six gram panchayats, namely Waddi Cherala and Vanaparthi in Varangal district of Telangana state and Masaka Vankapalli, Maddivari Gondi, Kotanka and Peddamatla Gondi in Anantapur district of Andhra Pradesh. The project is funded by European Union and co-financed by Bread for the World Germany. Anantpur is a drought-prone district with an annual average rainfall of 520 mm. Warangal district has an average annual rainfall of 994 mm. These project areas are predominantly rain-fed regions facing frequent drought. Overexploitation of groundwater and little effort for recharge resulted in poor water yield and total drying of many of the open and bore wells. Farmers have lost the source of water for life-saving irrigation for their crops. Drip irrigation has come to the rescue of farmers for efficient use of available water. However, regular drip irrigation system requires well with sufficient yielding. Low yield of bore wells affect uniform distribution of water across the length and breadth of the farm. Many deep bore wells are yielding water with higher amounts of calcium and magnesium salts. Drippers get clogged very soon due to salt accumulation. So the system needs regular flushing with acid solution. On the other hand, lateral pipes used in horticulture are disposed of by farmers within a few years of their purchase. Sugam project has started retrieving the old online lateral pipes to cultivate vegetables and field crops. A team of 15 young farmers is trained for designing and installation of this drip system. They visit the farm and prepare the layout. Main and sub-main PVC lines are laid. Sugam project introduced button emitters to bring down the cost. These button emitters are fitted on the lateral with the help of a punch. The design of this emitter is simple and it does not get clogged with the salt in the water. No filtering system is necessary as the finer dust particles are excreted by these drippers along with the water. The efficiency of this system is closer to regular inline drip system. All the farmers are accepting this uh, one acre drip system because this is very easy to operate, maintain and uh, almost it is no maintenance in this uh, uh, button dripper system. We totally avoid the head control system which requires for the water filtering from the bore well or open well because in the button dripper design itself there will not be any chance to block the dust particles or any sand particles coming from the open well or bore well. So most of the farmers are very interested and very keen uh, anxiety approaching us to extend for another one acre also and uh, we found uh, this is more farmer friendly. By improvising the design and materials used, the cost of this system has come down from rupees 17,000 to 9,500 per acre. This system was mostly installed on farms lesser than one acre. Hence, it is popular as one acre drip system. Thus, the system consists of four major components, PVC pipes, control valves, lateral pipes fitted with taps and button drippers. This system is most suited for low yield bore wells. Operation and maintenance is easy. 
This one acre drip system has resulted in 100% extension in the irrigated area in the installed farmlands of the project villages. It also increased the income of farmers up to 250% using same amount of water. In my village, some of the farmers are using button drippers for irrigation. Water flow is unrestricted through the laterals and drippers because of its big size. In case of conventional drip, water gets blocked due to high TDS. White substance is formed in the dripper, which needs maintenance. Even if the cultivated land with button dripper is less, the productivity is very high. Hence, farmers are very happy to use the button drippers. These results were disseminated among all farmers of the project area. Around 75 water-sharing farmers retrieved either abandoned laterals or purchased new laterals to install this drip system. Sugam Project started a focused campaign called Splice Drip to popularize reuse of old drip laterals as well as one acre drip system all over Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Many farmers from across two Telugu states are coming forward to install one acre drip system. Sugam facilitated the installation of this system in other areas by the request from other NGOs or farmers. This one acre drip helped us to increase cultivation from half acre to one and a half acre. Earlier, it was very difficult to cultivate even half an acre of land. This technology is helpful even for low-yield bore well. When scaled up, this innovative and low-cost technology has immense potential of extending life of old drip materials, reducing environmental pollution and ensuring food security of many small farm families in India.